I recently was going on dates with a man and nice guy, good guy, treated me well. But once I realized that he was not my husband, because I'm only looking for husband energy at the moment, I ended things with him and I sent him a text. Because like it wasn't that serious, you know, I didn't feel like I needed to do it in person. Anyways, I sent him a text, told him that I didn't see it going any further. And he agreed. He said that he didn't think that he could make me happy. And while I appreciate that, it was a very kind response. He didn't even try. He didn't even try and say that he like wanted to change, that he wanted to like whatever. Like, I can be manipulated. I will listen to you. <laughs> But you didn't even try. Yo, 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 what up, what up, what up? It's your boy Ty X Worldwide. Now check this out. Women get confused when you move on after they reject you. Let's go to the TikTok video. She says she was dealing with this dude that treated her good and she didn't want to deal with him no more. So she sends him a text and say, hey, this is not going to work anymore. And he agreed. He agreed. He said, all right, cool. And now she's left looking crazy like, wait, you're not going to pursue me? You're not going to chase me? You're not going to go after me? What, what's going on with you? And this is what women like to do. You see, when they reject you, they expect you to chase them. They expect you to pursue them. They expect you to always be there. And she's sitting up there talking about some, oh, you're not going to manipulate me? See, this is what they want you to do, man. She's basically saying she want that dude to play into her mind games. That's all she's saying. She want that dude to play that goofy game with her. And he's like, nah, I ain't doing that. You don't want me? Bet I'm out. I'm going to go deal with a chick that's going to appreciate the way I treat her. I'm going to go deal with a chick that's going to be happy that I'm treating her good. I'm going to go deal with a chick that really want to be with me for me. Oh, she don't like that. Oh, no. Mm -mm. She's like, nah, nah, nah. Uh-uh. She's like, nah, come play this game. You see, they so used to dudes doing that. That's why they don't like when you don't do it. That's why they get confused. They don't know how to handle that. When you tell a woman, okay, bet. All right, cool. I'm going to move on. They don't know how to handle that. It confuses their brain because they're not used to that. They're used to every other dude sitting up there chasing them. Sitting up there trying to prove themselves. Like she said in that video. You're not going to prove yourself? You're not going to pursue me? You're not going to apply no pressure? No. He's not. You don't like him. That's what it is. She don't like that dude. She had no interest in that dude. So she like, you know what? Let's cut it off because I want you to go hard for me. I want to make sure that you're going to always be here for me. I want to make sure you're going to worship the ground I walk on. I want to make sure no matter what I do, you're going to sit up there and be okay with it. No matter how wrong I do, I want you to still be okay with it. That's why she pulled that crap on him. That was a test. And he passed it. He said, okay, cool. And now she's like, wait, hold on. I didn't get the answer I thought I was going to get. I didn't get the response I thought I was going to get. He confused the heck out of her. She don't like that. And she don't realize like, dang, I messed up on a good quality dude. I'm telling you, bro, it's going gonna, it's gonna to hit her hard. She's going to sit there and think like, dang, I had a good opportunity with this dude. This was a good dude. That's what she said. Hey, she said it. I'm not saying she said it. She said he was a good dude. He treated her well. There was no problem. But you know what it is? She never liked him. I'm going to keep it 100 with you. She never really liked that dude. He didn't do anything for her to cut him off. So he said, you know what? I'm going to just end it right here because you, you're not my husband. <laughs> you're, you're not the guy I want. That's why I tell you guys, man. Never be that guy that women tell you to be. They'll tell you, oh, I want a good man. I want this. That's bull crap. They don't want that. She want that Pookie. She want that Ray Ray. She want that Chad, the Tyrone. That's what she wants. She want that dude that's going that she want that dude that don't care about her. That's what she wants. I keep telling you, man, stop listening to what they say. Pay attention to their actions. They're going to tell you that. Because it sounds good. But when they get that good man, when they get that good quality dude who actually respects himself and respects her, oh, she's going to run. <laughs> she's like, oh, no. No, no, no. Get away from me. I don't want you. Uh-uh. You're too good for me. Bye. Uh-uh. Let's end things right here. But then when you ask her, okay, cool. Now she's mad. <laughs> now she's confused. Now she don't know what happened. Now she's upset. Now her day is ruined. Because she wanted you to play into her delusion. Why? So she can have a reason to cut you off. That's all it is. It's, it, listen here, bro. When a woman wants you to manipulate her, all she's doing is telling you she wants you to play games, play into her mind games, and get you to lower yourself down. Because I keep telling you, you operating up here when you don't play her games. 
You operating up here when you respect yourself. So when she say, come in here and manipulate me and play these mind games, all you're going to do is lower yourself down to her level, and that way she has a leverage above you. That's all it is. It's a game, bro. It's all a game. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, it's, it's all mind games. And that dude did the right thing. I don't blame dude. I don't blame him. He said, okay, cool. I bet. I'm not going to deal with you no more. I'm not going to prove nothing to you. But she didn't like that. They don't like that. A lot of women don't like when you move on. I'm going to keep it 100 with you. A lot of women don't like when you don't taste them. A lot of women don't like when you don't worship them. They don't like when you don't put them on a pedestal. They don't like that. They have a problem with that. Funny video, but this is why a lot of times when you meet these women on dating apps, they never want to meet up and make things happen because they know they don't look like what they look like in them pictures. So they'd rather just sit around and text you all day and talk on the phone and waste your time and your energy because if you've seen what they really look like, you will ghost them. I deleted Hinge and Bumble and Tinder because the last guy I went on a date with gave me the biggest ache. So this was a few months ago. I haven't had any dating apps in a while purely because of the experience that I had. I was meant to do my eyeshadow before my base, but I'm here already. So I matched with this guy on Hinge, and he seemed really nice, he seemed really sweet, like I wasn't that physically attracted to him, but he was really funny and, you know, he just had like a really nice personality. So we chatted on the phone for a little bit, we even did a little FaceTime, and I was like, okay, cool, I feel comfortable enough to meet this person. But I did feel like he was being a bit pushy because I was always like, oh, I'm busy, like I'm doing this, I'm doing that. And he's like, oh, please, please, please. And eventually I was like, okay, fine. So on a lot of dating sites, you can put your height on it. And I think that's actually a really good idea. But this man decided to lie and say that he was 10 centimeters taller than what he actually is. Now listen, I am not saying that I do not like short kings. I love short kings. I dated a short king. I do have an issue if you lie about something and i feel like 10 centimeters is a lot i like my men to be 20 centimeters taller than me that is not a lot okay i am a very short person i just want someone to put their chin on my head when we are standing even if they have to do this a little bit like that's fine man pitches up to the date he's my height my height and like i said i am short as hell and do you know what? There's actually absolutely nothing wrong with being a man and being that height. It is a problem when you are a man that height and then you f lie. Now, remember I said I already wasn't physically attracted to him. Like, that was already, like, not a thing for me. And I was like, oh, like, maybe when I meet him in person, like, I'll feel, like, that nice physical attraction. It's giving Leo season. I just feel like if you're already like that short, like what's the point of lying about your height? Like people are gonna know when they meet you. Like, I don't know what homeboy was expecting. And this is where the ick comes in. I didn't get the ick because he was short. I didn't get the ick because he lied about his height even though like, what the f I got the ick because of the way he was behaving about his height. Go to part two, please. Guys, listen up. If a woman is not physically into you, just move on. Don't lie to her, telling her that you're taller than what you really are, or don't try to do any of that stuff, manipulate none of that stuff. If she's not rocking with you, just move on. There's nothing that you're going to say or do to make a woman like you. Another thing, too, is that I find it funny that women like this will always tell you just be upfront and honest with them, but they never honest and upfront with you. Bottom line, guys, just focus on yourself, continue to elevate, and only deal with the women that want to deal with you. Point blank, period, all right? It's your boy, Ty X Worldwide, man. I hope you got the message this video just like all my videos there is a message in there you already know what to do man like comment subscribe get with y'all another time